Right, one of the annoying things about the new Unity toolkit is that you don't get a lot with it. Well, you get, okay, that's not fair. You, you do get a lot with it, but it's missing a few components. One of the components that is missing, excuse me, uh, is the, is the ability to have like a scrolling text area. Uh, so it's actually quite a bit of a rigmarole to get it done. So uh, I'm going to show you in this video how to create a scrolling text view that you can use in your programs to add text. And you, you'll see what I mean. It's anyway. So the first thing to do is create a panel. Now the panel uh, tends to be quite big. I also find that if you tap Unity 2D a couple of times, um, so that button up there, if you tap that a couple of times, it shows this. I'm sure there's a way to get the gizmos properly done, but that's um, I find it the easiest way to do that. Now the panel it gives you is the full size of the screen. So we want to bring that in just a little bit because we don't want it to be too huge. Uh, and we'll center it in there somewhere. Okay, so now we have our panel. So everything's going to fit inside this um, this box here. So uh, what we want to add uh, underneath that panel, so we'll call that uh, Control. So what we want to add under that is an image. So we'll click on image and you see we now have an image. And we'll put the image somewhere up here like so. Okay, so now we have an image and we have a panel. Now the text is going to appear inside this image. So our text has to be underneath the image. So we do UI text. So this is our text. Now our text, uh, I'm going to drag it out to this size just now to just to show you uh, the, the problem we have. So if I add text here, Okay, so now we have uh, 30 items of text, but we we can't see it, so that, that's a bit of a problem. So what we can do is we can, the, the issue is that our horizontal overflow, so that's, the, that's what happens when the text is too big, uh, when you're going along the way, uh, is set to wrap, which is fine, but the vertical overflow is set to truncate, so if we choose that to be overflow, you'll see what happens now, which is... If I scroll out, uh, the text appears. So when we run the game, uh, you'll see that the text appears there. What we want to do is we want to clip it to the, the window. So the window just happens to be the image. So I'm going to call this uh, scroll background. Uh, and I'm going to add another component to this. And the component I'm going to add, if it comes up and it's not, is the mask component. Now you can use you can use this in here to type in um, the first couple of letters or just a word of it. So I'm going to add a mask. Now by default the mask um, fills the area uh, of the image. Now maybe we don't want to see the mask graphic so all that means is we don't want to see the, what the image is, we just want to use the image as the mask uh, in which case you would just turn that off there. But we're going to keep the, the white background because it's actually it's actually quite nice to, to have it there. Now, this is only half of the, the, the problem because now we have it clipped down here. But we have no way to, to actually access this information. So what we need to do is we go back up to our scroll text control uh, main object and then we do add UI and then we want to add a scroll bar. Now the scroll bar we want is going to be from top to bottom. So the direction, sorry, it's bottom to top. I always get that wrong. Uh, so direction is going to be bottom to top. 
Um, and that's all we're going to do. And we're going to put this over here and add it to there. Okay, so, so far so good. We have some of the components that, that we need to, to get there, but the scroll bar needs to interact with something. Um, so if we go back to our scroll background, what we want to add here is we want to add a scroll rect component. So now our scroll background has an image and then a mask that's applied to the image and then we have a scroll rect. Now the content is the stuff that we want to keep inside the rectangle but allow it to scroll. Uh, and that is going to be our text. So if we click on the little target icon over here and then click on text. That sets that there. Uh, and we also want to set uh, the horizontal change to be off because we only want to, to deal with the vertical change here. So our horizontal scroll bar is going to be none and our vertical scroll bar is going to be our scroll bar that we just added. So once again we run this and still nothing. So it's like, okay, so that's kind of frustrating. We have to add one more thing, <laughs> believe it or not, uh, and that is, let me add our component here. Oh, this is not working for some reason. Um, and it is a filter, but I can't seem to find it. It's in the UI. Content size fitter, sorry I do apologize, content size fitter is the, the control that you want to add. So you add the content size fitter and right now it's set to be unconstrained and then the vertical fit is set to be unconstrained. And if you set that to the preferred size you'll see that it's now jumped up a little bit. So we will need to scroll that down just a tad so that it fits inside there and you'll see that it's still um, much larger than the the, um, the actual image, but now we have the scroll bar working. So when we run this, we now have our scroll area working perfectly. So just to recap, um, create a, a panel. This bit is optional, but it makes it look nice. So create a panel, call it whatever you want, and then add uh, an image to the, the panel. Make sure the image has got a mask applied to it. Uh, this masks out the content. And then add a scroll rect to your image. Once you've done that, you then add your text. And um, your text also has another component applied to it, which is the content size fitter and you leave your horizontal as being unconstrained and your vertical fit as being the preferred size. Then go uh, add a scroll bar and then go back up to your scroll background and make sure that your scroll rect has the horizontal unchecked, the vertical checked and your vertical scroll bar set to be the vertical scroll bar that you added. And you can tweak these other properties here, I'm not going to bother going into them, but you can tweak them to your heart's content. But that's essentially how you go about creating a scrollable list box.